My name is Alfred Roger and welcome to a game called Kerbal Space Program. Now if you haven't heard of this game, you have no life. If you've never played this game, you have no life. No, I'm joking. If you haven't played this game, you need to buy it now, because it's the best game ever made, apart from Subnautica, but they're equal to me, so you know. Um, I've had this game for a while, in fact I think I've had it since last year. I've had it for a while, I haven't done a video on it ever though, which is quite strange for me, because I normally do a video on any game that I get. But um, I thought, I thought it was time. It's uh, version 1. It's finished, the game is pretty much complete, um, and it was actually released on my birthday, 27th of April, so I was pretty chuffed about that. And if you guys like this, then we'll make it into a series. Um, I did make a flag, I don't know how it's going to turn out, because it's pretty stretched. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll just re make a new type. Um, but for the moment, we'll just call it Crunch... Crunch Labs. So... If you like, if you guys like this, then we'll turn it into a series. If you don't like it, it'll just be a one-off video. Um, but I'm prepared to be in for the long haul here. I've got grapes. Oh, oh, you know that feeling when you get a grape? It's like really one of those really small ones, and it's like really sweet and nice. Grapes that makes you go, oh damn! So, in case you didn't know, Kerbal Space Program is as suggested by the um, name. It's a space program based around a species of people called Kerbals and their earth is Kerbin. Now this is the map. Uh, pretty darn big. Um, all of this is pretty much to scale. If you did it in real time I think it said something like it would take two hours to get to the moon. Um, if you did it in real scale but you can time warp and stuff. But there are a few unknown objects that I've never been to. Um, size class D if you know what I mean. Hey and it's large. Hey hey. I'm so sorry. Saturn, Uranus, hey! and then there's no Neptune. I've never actually been further than Minmus, I've only ever got to Minmus. Um, so it, it, I really want to get somewhere. The, these, All these planets have moons as well. Where's Which one was Jupiter? Was it this one? Drez. They all have like their own names and stuff. Um, so no, it's really cool. Drez is tiny. I thought Jez, <laughs> Drez was supposed to be Jupiter, wasn't it? Jesus Christ, that's tiny. Here, the mysterious Elu that I've never actually looked at. So, what do you look like, Elu? Oh, you're quite big, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're cool. You look like half. You look like a, a, a soccer ball. Why do I say I'm British? Why did I say soccer? What's wrong with me? Too much YouTube, probably. It might, might that might be the aim of the series to get to Elu. That's gonna be that's gonna be um that's gonna be the name of the series, I think. The uh the the uh what should we call it? The the journey to Elu. Yes, whatever. First, what we're going to do is just make something that can orbit the Earth. Because what we're going to try and do is we're going to build it up. So, this episode, we're going to try and get something to orbit the Earth, which is reasonably easy. Then, next episode, we're going to be trying to get something that goes on the moon. Um, which is a bit harder, but again, not too difficult. Still doable. Um, so, first, I just want to see what our flag looks like. Oh, Jesus Christ, that looks pretty stretched. Although... That's okay. Um, might just have it. Yeah, I think we'll just have a drone one for the moment, and it's not going to have like a life pod or anything. I mean, <sighs> life pod. Good job. Uh, it's not going to have a. Um... Oh, what am I doing? I do have a few mods installed as well, in case you're wondering why there's all this jumbled stuff. Heat shield because they've added heat to this game. Next, we need some fuel. That's always a good thing. Although we should probably have some kind of. But I'm not good at this game, so don't shout at me, please. So I think to get into orbit, I think two of these should be okay. I don't know. I'm really bad at this game, so please don't shout at me. Um, although we could have it so it's just a really tiny rocket kind of thing, couldn't we? Um, so we'll have some spotlights. We'll have four of them. There you go. Um, so we'll have four of them there. Um, and in the future, we'll be making space planes and stuff. Maybe we'll be able to make a space plane that goes to the Arctic. Because that's always a fun thing to do. Am I right? Yeah, of course I am. Uh, Kerbin Orbit. 1.0, because I'm pretty sure this is probably going to go bad. So, 3, 2, 1. Oh, God, that's loud. Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me then. Oh, for God's sake, you're glitched, aren't you? Are you still recording? I can't tell. 
Oh, for God's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Right, I'm back. I've learned something. Do not turn down the audio whilst flying a rocket. That seems like a good idea. This is why we need the heat shield. You see this? This is helping us from not everything falling off. Um, so, you know, that's always a plus. And I have learned from uh, a fantastic person called Scott Mandler to... Um, Ew, this is going to be hard. Oh, God. To uh, go to 90 degrees. Yeah, okay, everything, everything that could have gone wrong there went wrong. Oh, wait, hang on. 4.0. God, if this doesn't work now, I seriously give up on life. Because we got there pr practically the first time, and it was just because... Oh, for God's sake. Uh... Right, okay, thou art here. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I know that these are very off. Uh, but it's worth a try, okay? As soon as I would- I accidentally pressed space. That is our end goal for tomorrow's- uh, not tomorrow's episode, but, like, the next episode will be, um, that. Um, so yeah, that's- that's what I'm planning on anyway. Um... Don't know what an ablator is. Guessing it's something to do with the amount of heat it can take. Oh, we also should do a challenge where I try and land in that airport in a space plane. That sounds like something fun. If you guys want that, say so in the comments below. If you want me to do any challenges on this game, um, set me any challenges like to go to the Arctic in a plane or to land there in a plane or wherever, whatever you want me to do, I will try and do for you guys. So now we need to decouple. Right, okay, this is using up fuel pretty quickly. There's the moon. We're not flying towards you today. You do look a bit like the Death Star, though, because you have, like, one big crater in the front of you. Right, okay. We're in space. Nice. Zero gravity. That is what space is. Well done, Dan. And full pump. Hopefully we have enough fuel for this. If we don't, I'm going to kill myself. Not literally. That's not a funny joke, Dan. <sighs> okay, then. Well, we managed to do it. We're in space. We can now retract all of our... Um, extend, I mean, all of our solar panels so that we have um, light and stuff. Uh, electricity and stuff. Um, sorry that took forever. I don't know what happened. I'm just not in a... It's quite late, so I'm probably just a bit weird and tired and stuff. Um, but there you are. There you have it. So I'm quite proud. It took forever, and I don't know why. Probably because I'm stupid. The lights run out after a while, because they're in the dark, which makes no sense, being as we're supposed to be... They're supposed to be four when you're in the dark, and they only come on when you're in the light. But, you know, it was worth it. So, um, so that is our first... ever... Um... That's our first ever rocket on this channel, and we managed to get it into space. Um, which I'm quite happy about. I'm very glad that we could do that together. Um, there you go. <sighs> Finally. Okay then, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you want more Kerbal Space Program, then sure, I'll turn it into a series, and I'll probably call it the the Road to... Uh, the road. That would be quite an ironic thing, so I'm going to use that. The road to Elu. Yes, because it's in space. So, yes. The road to Elu. Um, so that's going to be my end goal. But obviously you can suggest challenges and stuff. That'll be in a separate kind of series, mini-series of challenges and stuff. But for the moment, if you're liking the idea of a series for Kibble Space Run, give it a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. ta -ra, my friends. <laughs> That was a nice goal. That was actually a pretty good goal. Quite proud of that. 
So you should be five seconds in to that realm. Oh, yep. Oh, thank you for the nudge. And it's going in. Oh, 